one word or two from EspressoEnglish.net. Today you'll learn some common English words that are often misused because they are so similar. The only difference between them is a space or a letter. Already and already. Already means something that has happened previously. And already means everyone or everything is ready. For example, the clothes are clean. I've already washed them. Hey guys, are you all ready for the road trip? Sometime and sometime. Sometime means an unspecified point in time. And some time means an unspecified amount of time. For example, let's go out to eat sometime next week. That refers to a point in time. She's been working here for quite some time. That refers to an amount of time. Anyway and any way. The word anyway means in any case, and any way means any manner or any means. For example, I don't mind coming to work early. I'm a morning person anyway. If there's any way you can help us, we'd appreciate your assistance. Every day and every day. Every day is an adjective meaning ordinary or casual, and every day means daily frequency. For example, you like this dress? It's just my everyday dress that I wear around the house. This doesn't mean I wear the dress every day. It just means that the dress is ordinary, casual. I drink five glasses of water every day. This means I drink five glasses of water daily, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Everyone and every one. Everyone refers to all people. It is the same as everybody. Every one refers to all individual objects. Everyone wants to be happy. That means all people want to be happy. He didn't study for the test and he got every single one of the questions wrong. Questions are objects, not people. We often say every single one for emphasis. Apart and a part. Apart means physically separated, and a part means one part of something. For example, the pillars are about five feet apart from each other. Apart refers to the distance of their separation. I gave her a part of my sandwich. That means one piece of my sandwich. We often eliminate the word a uh, and simply say, I gave her part of my sandwich. Altogether and all together. The word altogether can mean completely or refer to a total, and all together means in a group. For example, the traffic slowed down and then stopped altogether. Altogether means stopped completely. We sold our CD collection for $500 altogether. That means a total of $500. I love it when my family is all together at Christmas. That means my family is together. We are in a group. We are close to each other. To clear up your doubts about confusing words, get the new ebook, 600 Plus Confusing English Words Explained, 
available at EspressoEnglish.net. It has more than 200 pages and over 5 hours of audio with easy-to-understand explanations of the confusing English words.